Thank you, Kevin. And take a look at all of this standing water. It's not a creek, it's not a lake. This is actually a road and it's in Madison County. RTV 6's Stephanie Wade has been digging into this problem that we first told you about last night at 11 after a woman who lives nearby this says she's been complaining about this for years. She's getting to the bottom of who is responsible to fix this issue and what it will take. We're underwater all the time, like 11 months of the year, and it's several feet. It's a constant fear for Christy Failink and her family. Their home flooding, the streets outside their home flooding. Just this past Saturday, a truck was submerged um, right out there. Uh, just the top of it was sticking out and they had to be rescued by a helicopter to get out. This high water sign placed near 900 West and 700 North in Elwood only after that incident happened. A contractor even telling her he said that we should move. He said that if they're not going to fix the problem that we should move because we're, we're going to lose our house basically. So we went to county officials to hear why they haven't done anything to fix this yet. Now we're talking with this John Hester drain area, we're probably looking at over a million dollars to fix the whole drain. Mm -hmm. And you need to get everyone on board. Need to get everybody in the watershed to agree to it, yes. Now this is Christie's home right here on this map. And you see all these red lines. This is the existing drainage right now that is not functional and not being maintained by the county. Now the county surveyor says what needs to happen next is all of the roughly 100 people who live in this area need to come together to decide whether they want to pay the county to take this on. Tom Shepard says there are about 50 drains in Madison County that are not being maintained by officials. He's working one by one to restore them, in some cases which are over 100 years old. This year we've already got three in the works to put on county maintenance. Hers is going to be one of them. So this is clearly a problem in the county. Sure, sure. This homeowner saying she's desperate for a swift solution. It's beyond our control and uh, it's, it's, the problem is bigger than we can manage and so we really need their help. In Elwood, Stephanie Wade, RTV6. Thanks, Steph. And the county surveyor says next people who live in the area will get a letter with the assessment rates and be invited to the drainage board meeting where they can share their thoughts and concerns. The board will then either accept the drain as a maintenance project or reject it.